with Luna Moth Creations and I am back and I have a special box. Um, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. On my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as uh, one self-care subscription box, I forgot what I was going to say, <laughs> and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. So today, so I just started like what last month with the company Magical Folk. And um, when I ordered this subscription, I noticed that they had these um, like Sabbath boxes. Uh, they're called Folklore and Fairy Tales. So this is the box for Maven. Um, I believe that's what it is. It's for Maven. And so, yeah, we're going to jump in and see. So on the, look at the side of the box. Can you guys see that? Yeah. They've got pretties on it. It's a heavy box. This was pretty expensive though. I feel like it was about $125. So I would assume that it's gonna have a lot of great amazing things in it. So right on top, we've got like keys all over the inside of the box. And like I said, they have uh, Sabbath boxes for the rest of them, I believe. So we'll see how this one goes and then if it's pretty amazing, I'm definitely going to get um, get a Samhain box. So on top I just have like a doily, like a paper doily. I guess it's just a pretty. All right. And then we have some paperwork. Oh my gosh. We've, we've got paperwork. I'm not going to read all this. Um, it says, so Magical Folk Maven Folklore Box. What did I call it on the top? Yeah, folklore and fairy, fairy tales. Okay. And it says, oh, wait. Okay. I think that this may tell us what's in everything. So, move some stuff. We will not look at that just yet. Um, so, first on top, I have a thing of postcards. Oops. Very nice. I think they're all the same. Yes, so they have like a crow or some sort of black bird on the front. All right, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, ooh, this is a big ass candle. Maven, apples, and sage. And then it says tiger, tiger eye, tiger's eye, lapis lazuli, and green aventurine. Hand poured coconut and soy wax candle. Magical folk apothecary. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the cute acorn. There's like a wax acorn in there. Oh my God, guys, it smells so good. What was it, apples and sage? Oh, I'm gonna light it. Let's light it. Cause it's big. I'm probably gonna burn myself. Hold on. Let's get let's get some matches <laughs> because um, the flame on my my lighter is, is pretty sad. Yay! I tell you, sorry. You guys are just gonna be sitting or watching me. Look at this freaking my match is getting crazy up in here. over there. Yay. Oh my God. It smells so good. Okay. All right. Moving along. Um, trying to figure out what is going on right here. Okay. Let's get this. So shadow and light, soy tea light candles and harvest wax melts. So there we go. So I guess the, the, the black and white, so we've got tea light white ones and tea light black candles, and then those look like mac wax melts in the uh, with the pentacle. Cool. Mmm, smell good. Okay. God, I don't know what to do, guys. I wish I need to. One of these days, I'm gonna change up my my studio so you guys can maybe I don't know see the box better. 
All right, so then we have Maven Floor Sweep Magic Ritual. And I thought I saw in the paperwork that they've got like rituals written out. So in this Floor Sweep, the ingredients are Vervain, Thyme, Oat Straw, Zebra Stone, Green Aventurine, and then it says directions, sweep clockwise from the front or back of your home. Intentions, balance, prosperity, love, and harmony. Balance is central to the autumnal equinox. This vervain time oat straw floor sweep invites harmony, prosperity, love, and warmth into your home, ensuring that although the light will sh the light will soon grow dim outside, the spirits of those within will glow brightly. So that is what we've got. Lots of little herbies in there, and then we've got the milky oats magic ritual herbal supplement according to greek lore uh gaia was nourished in her infancy by milk excuse me by milky oats from infants to elders seniors benefit significantly from the herb especially those dealing with weakness and paralysis fostering greater harmonial oh my god i can't speak uh, fostering greater hormonal balance, soothing and stabilizing the nervous system. Tonics and tea made from milky oats can aid with menstruation, menopause, which I'm probably close to that. <laughs> Chronic stress, anxiety, and burnout. Milk oats gently rejuvenate and uplift mood, helping restore mentally, emotionally, and spiritually during addiction and trauma recovery. Coupled with their moisturizing anti-inflammatory effects, Milky oats are a nourishing bath infusion. Governed by Venus, milky oats amplify prosperity magic, attracting abundance. Attributed to water, they enhance meditation rituals and heighten psychic knowing, also corresponding to Earth. They nurture your innate fertility, empowering and grounding. It is believed that dreaming of oats, that dreaming of oats ready to be gleaned is highly auspicious. With this spell herb at your fingertips, your fortune, oh gosh, your fortune will be in your hands. Okay, so that's that. I said, oh gosh, because like the little nummins in there are, um, <laughs> I like to catch all that stuff on fire. So currently my house just smells like it's on fire. Um, so there you go. All right, there is like a big thing right here that I don't think I wanna grab just yet. All right. Oh, this is heavy. All right, Maven Blessings with Magic and Love, Magical Folk. So we got something wrapped. It feels like another candle. Nope. It is Oak Salt. And it says, dead sea salt, sea salt, and white oak. Ritual and casting salt. Wealth, healing, harm, uh, harmony, ancestral wisdom. Cool. Very nice. I don't know why I want to smell it. it smells like nothing. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm guessing this is a bar of soap. Uh-oh. I don't know if something got wet. All right, so we have Magical Folk Apothecary Release Juniper Sage All Natural Ritual Soap. I wonder, oh, that was a piece of sage that was in the candle. I was like, I, I thought that I was smelling. <laughs> I was like, I know that smell. It's sage. Ooh, I'm gonna make a mess. We have some soap with oats on it. Very nice. Okay. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna have to get this thing right on top. It's pretty big. Okay, so we have a little wreath thing here. There's a dried um, rose. And then there's witches bells. So there's like, I love this uh, this really super soft yarn. I, I don't sew or anything like that, 
but you know the, have you guys seen this? Like it's super soft, like, is it like sh sh Chanel? No, that's a perfume, right? I don't know. Anyways, witch's bells. Oh, and there's keys. Can you guys see? There's keys and beautiful bells. Where am I gonna put this? I'm telling you, me and my boyfriend need to get our own place. I cannot wait until his son is of age so that we can move on in life and um, go get our own house. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be a butthole. Um, that's the plan. Okay. Now we've got this bag and it says Abundance bath tea magic ritual ancient symbols of reverence and the sacred feminine bathing and showering with rose and corn silk honors awakens and in pampers your inner goddess like the divine being she is rich in skin moisturizing nutrients antioxidants and emollients rose hydrates and replenishes skin known as a powerful detoxifier corn silk reduces swelling and eliminates bodily toxins. Combined, they com combat inflammation, irritation, and skin issues like dermatitis, eczema, and psoriasis. Attributed to earth and water, the soak added to magically charged water can be used as a mist, protecting your space and filling it with love, abundance, and fertile energies that manifest good fortune during the second harvest. Um, And then it says ingredients are corn silk and red rose. It says simmer in a large pot of water for 10 minutes, strain, add to full bath or small foot soak. I wonder why you have to simmer it in a pot first. Hmm. Int intentions are abundance and manifesting. So um, it's in a little plastic bag and then it's in kind of like a muslin bag almost on the inside. I just want to smell it. know what it smells like anyways so you can see that it's in it's almost like a, a large tea bag all right there is that Here. Whoop. Not the okay then we've got nightingale Cleary Sage, oh, my old eyes, y'all. Cleary Sage, Wormwood, Bluebells, Valerian, Frankincense, and Mugwort. Ooh, they've got some small writing on here. Coconut Wax, Magnolia Wax, Coconut, some, some, Marjoram. Ooh, Flying Balm, Writing Spirit Communication. Nice. It smells like Mugwort. So it's, maybe we'll read about it. Cause they do have like information on each item, but it's like a, a it's like a whole like um, book of shadows page. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, what is this? What is this? You have Maven, it says Maven Blessings from Magical Folk on here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like a pump. There's a, like a maybe a hand lotion or something I don't know Whoop. I'm having the hardest time unwrapping everything <laughs> what sparkly okay so wild abundance sunflowers and sandalwood intention bath and body oil let me shake it up a little bit because like all the the pretty colors are sticking to the side okay so there's that, but as you can see, look at all the yummy swirly stuff. All right. Open this way. It's gonna like pop up or something. Hmm. I think they usually, when you twist it, it like pops up. All right, well, mine's not popping up. I don't know what's happening. I'm 
probably gonna get it like all over my shirt. Okay, well, we won't do that right now. I'm gonna unscrew it though. Mmm, that smells good. And then I'll be sparkly when I put it on. All right, now we've got a little sachet. And it looks like we've got some green adventuring. And then there is some sort of maybe rollerball parfum situation. I feel like I'm half asleep right now. <laughs> Y'all know I just woke up. Okay, so first off, we've got some green adventuring babies. That's what my guess is. I, I don't can't imagine that's something else. And then prosperity. It says green adventuring, lemongrass, and poppy intention perfume oil. Manifest abundance and money. This oh. Yeah, it is a roller ball. Mm, I love citrus stuff. The lemon smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. Give me some abundance. Manifest my shit for me. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I need a drink. I need a drink. There's so much stuff. Okay. Then we have uh, Maven Magic, Marjoram Pine, Apple Cider Vinegar, Apple Cider Vinegar Altar Wash. Cleanse, Prosper, Harmonize. Cool. Oh shit, it's full. Woo! I can smell that apple cider vinegar. This shit is gonna clean my altar. All right, we'll pull out some paperwork on these things. Not that I'm gonna read the whole thing because they're like really long book of shadows, but I'll show you guys. So then we have Magic of Maven, Cinnamon, Vanilla, Apple, and Chamomile Altar Oil. Honoring Cycles and Gratitude. Very nice, and there's some floaties in there. Woo! This is gonna smell amazing. Mmm. What was it? Cinnamon? vanilla, apple, and chamomile. Interesting. We'll, we'll just put a little bit on myself and mix it up with the other stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. But yeah, this is, you could also anoint your candles um, and your, um, your altar tools and all that good stuff. But I also like to anoint myself. All right, so then we have elderberry tincture. Very nice. Elderberry, cinnamon, and clove tincture. Herbal supplement for wisdom and wealth. I would drop this into my mouth right now, but I'm going to read the directions first. It'll probably say something like don't ingest, which, I mean, would not make sense if it's a tincture, but you know what I'm saying. Knowing me, if I did something, why can't I open this shit? All right, well, I won't. I won't bore y'all with me trying to open, open more stuff. Okay, that may be it. Okay, more crinkle paper. Um, and since we're talking about crinkle paper, don't forget guys, when I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. You may receive some of the items that are in this box in the giveaway box. And you'll definitely receive some of this crinkle paper. So don't miss out, subscribe today. Give me a like and a comment. Okay. I cracked my own self up. <laughs> All right, let's move the box out of the way and let's take a look at this stuff. So, um, they have, I believe what it looks like is a book of shadows page for each item. So like this one is the uh, witch's bells and then Then it looks like, um, yeah, and then they just have each item, like the perfume oil, the soap, and then and it tells you how to use everything, so that's really great. So, like the, we'll read about that elderberry, um, herbal remedy that I can't open. Okay. So it says, 
Made from elderberry, clove, cinnamon, and a few drops under the tongue. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, made from elderberry, clove, cinnamon, comma, a few drops under the tongue of this tincture can fortify your body, mind, and spirit in preparation for the shadow season from autumn's first chill until the sun's return. Attributed to both Venus and water, the sun and fire, the Rimini tincture will open your heart to seasonal wisdom and arms to abundance. Fueling your spiritual flame, the tincture will help you shine your brightest even in the shadows. Loaded with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents, the elderberry spice blend boosts the immune system, fending off infection, cold, and flu. The Remedy is also a natural pain reliever, reliever for achy joints and muscles, muscle triggered by cooler temperatures, which is great because I've got tennis elbow. Though it is beneficial year-round and may also improve digestion, fight cancer, and boost mood, while adverse events are rare, this remedy tincture is not recommended for those pregnant, nursing, at risk of abnormal bleeding, have liver or kidney disease, and it does contain alcohol. Usually a tincture is, um, like, they, the stuff sits in alcohol for, like, months. Um, I mean, I'm not an herbalist. I don't do any of that stuff, but I've read a little bit, so, you know, take that information however you feel. All right, okay, so that's it on that. Um, but it goes on to talk about all the other items. I didn't know if there was something that I wanted to read. Okay, ritual salt, floor wax, altar wash, nightingale flying balm. I wanted to check that out. So it's slime balms have been used for centuries by witches to transport mind and spirit beyond the limits of the physical realm. Used to seek higher guidance, wisdom, and understanding from animal spirits and higher beings as they embarked on transcendent journeys, shape-shifting in the shadows. Nightingale, which is awesome because I'm a nurse and Florence Nightingale was like the first nurse, you know, or like, you know, that's our, our mascot or whatever. Anyways, our base vegan flying ointment of clary sage, frankincense, mugwort, sandalwood, valerian root, wormwood, and dried bluebell flowers cleanses and pacifies, dissolving the boundaries of the veil and transforms your conscious experience from the inside out, protecting against all that may hinder your metamorphosis. The nightingale is the embodiment of trusting what remains unseen, overcoming fear of the shadows and allowing the voice of your own truths to comfort, heal, and guide your way. With close ties to Mother Moon, the nightingale spirit reminds you that no matter how discouraged you may feel, your inner light will always shine even if you don't see it. And then I already told you the ingredients of it. So I guess I should have maybe read all this stuff while I was pulling the things, but whatever, it's cool. Um, I'm not gonna read it all at this point, but um, there is some spells and rituals in here. It just kind of talks about like working with the crone and triple goddess. Um, And it talks about uh, like autumnal, like herbs and scents and stuff like that, and like the um, like celebrating Maven. More things to release for shadow season. Awesome energy ignition. So there's kind of a. Um, Maybe like a guided ritual here. Energy contemplation. Very nice, cool. So you've got like tons of awesome Book of Shadows pages. Um, I think it was, what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth it? I think so. I mean like all these like beautiful like tinctures and different things. I mean, they're in nice glass bottles. So, and the witch's bells, like this is probably my favorite thing. Um, I think it's totes adorbs. I'm going to have to find a cool spot for this. Um, my boyfriend's going to be so happy. So there you go, guys. This is the Magical Folk uh, Folklore and Fairy Tales box for Maven. Again, they have boxes for the other um, Sabbaths. If you guys want to check them out, I will link below. And I will be back here pretty soon with another box. 
So if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up for this video, leaving me a comment below what you thought of this box. Is it worth the amount? I will put the amount below. I believe it was like $125. Um, let me know what you think. And um, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I love tuning in and uh, communicating and messaging back and forth with you guys. It's um, really fun for me and hopefully fun for y'all. And um, I think that's it. I will be back soon with another box. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.